So for tomorrow, we've got a lower body strength workout. Now we know being at home, we don't always have all the weight we want, but remember, strength is predominantly an adaptation of your brain learning how to control your body, and that happens with practice and focused control. So here's, let's take a look and see what we got for tomorrow. So we're gonna start three sets, 30 second bottom of the squat hold. Now we're gonna just sit at the bottom of the squat, get comfortable getting down low, get as low as you possibly can. Everybody's gonna look a little bit different, but this is something we wanna progress through. 10 alternating reverse lunges. We're gonna step back, drive that knee forward, soft touch with that back knee, and use that fore leg to pull us back over top. And then 30 seconds, hollow hold. We're working on the core, working on good activation. And remember, we wanna be able to take the power that we produce with our lower body, transmit it through our core to make it to our upper body so it can be imparted onto the weight. Whether we're holding a weight on our back, holding a weight in our arms, we've gotta get that force to transfer. And that's why we got the hollow holds in there. So looking at the workout, we're gonna start off with six sets, a 30 second wall sit, we got our hips down at our knees, ankles are kept underneath our knees, and we're really squeezing, trying to hold nice and isometric or a static position. And we're gonna pair that with 10 goblet squats. Okay, we got a tempo here. We're gonna control down and then fire back up. If you got your dumbbells at home, great. We can always load up a backpack, grab an odd object, whatever it is, we're gonna make our body go up and down with a little bit of weight. And remember, we're going to be enforcing good technique, and that's always the biggest win here. So if you don't have heavy weights, don't worry about it. You'll still get a good workout in. Then we got the energy system piece, the EMOM. Remember in EMOMs, we want sprint recover. So 12 alternating jumping lunges, some single leg work, building that explosive power, driving our body up off the ground, 25 jumping jacks. This is kind of our monostructural piece. We're gonna work through it nice and smooth, about 25 jumping jacks in 30, 40 seconds. We're gonna to have to move, but it shouldn't be super taxing. This will be a good opportunity for recover. 20 air squats. Now 20 is actually a high volume. To do that in a minute, we're gonna be need to be pushing the pace. Let's make sure we keep our depth, getting those hips all the way down as low as possible. As we get tired in the later rounds, you're gonna to wanna to go sh sh shorter. Try and keep discipline of getting the full depth, working through that full range of motion. And then 15 sit-ups. Again, reasonably high volume for a minute. We gotta be moving quite fast to get those out in the 30, 40 seconds, but it's gonna be some taxing on the core. And again, remember, we wanna keep that core nice and strong to transmit that force produced by our lower body. So a great way to start off the week, some nice lower body work, a little bit of strength, followed by a little bit of metabolic conditioning, but a great way to start. We're looking forward to seeing a great week of workouts here at the Rep Room.